So we start with a Pepecura template. Now these templates are very, very basic. I think they are just ripped from a 3D model from a mobile game or something. So there is absolutely no detail on these. But I honestly prefer this because it means the boring part of cutting out templates is quick and easy. And I can add all the details I like myself at a later stage. So these templates are cut out and traced onto 10mm thick EVA foam floor mats. These parts are then all cut out with a really sharp knife. The knife needs to be sharp to make sure your cuts are nice and clean, which means the edges will be a lot easier to join up with glue when you come to sticking it all together. Before sticking it together though, some of the parts need to be curved and the way to do this is use a heat gun and heat them from the back side just to not damage the side you're going to paint later on. And heat this up and then bend it with your hands or you can bend it over some sort of form. Just be careful when you do this as the foam does get really hot. Once the foam has been heat formed into position, I like to tape all the seams together with electrical tape. Now I need to make sure that the seam is perfectly aligned and I need to cover every single part of the seam. And the reason I do this is the way I glue this together is I'll take the seam up first and then from the inside, I use the fine nozzle of my hot glue gun to squirt glue into that joint. And the tape will stop it from seeping out the other side and that will result in a really nice, even clean seam. So with the basic shape of the helmet done, you may have noticed a couple of um, simulation welds on this. The way I made those was to cut very thin strips of foam. And then the edges of these were kind of beveled using a pair of scissors. Now I deliberately did these jagged to try and simulate the look of a rough weld. Now I want the face on my helmet to be able to lift up so I've added this band around the forehead area to keep it on when the face is open. And that goes on just like this. So before I glue on these fake welds and things I like to hold them into position temporarily first. So I take the pieces, cut them to size and then I'll pin them into place just to make sure I'm happy with the placement. And then once I've got all the parts pinned down, I'll then go through and glue them on one at a time. So now all the uh, details are added to the face. I've also added some dings and scratches too and it is now pretty much finished I've added a bit of velcro to the top on the inside to act as a hinge before it can be painted I wanted to tidy up some of the seams with some flexible filler so once the filler is dry it's time to paint I'm using acrylic paint and I'm mixing together six parts silver to one part black and that makes it a nice almost gunmetal grey type colour and I'm just applying this with a brush. The reason I'm using a brush is one, I can do this in my living room without any overspray or anything. And two, the paint job on this doesn't have to be neat and tidy anyway, so it doesn't really matter if it's not the most perfect paint job. Two coats of the silver color as a base coat is where I started with this. And then it was time to weather it up. Now you're still using acrylic paints, but I'm watering them down so they're really runny. And then just using a big brush to apply that paint into all of the areas where dirt and grime would build up and before it gets a chance to dry just wiping that away with a paper towel make sure i'm wiping away from the recessed area so a lot of that stays in there i weathered it all again same way with watered down black paint now after the helmet was done and i was happy with the paint i moved on to the rest of the costume making the parts in exactly the same way using eva foam for the base shapes and then gradually detailing them up 
using reference photos and a toy I've got of the Mark One Iron Man suit. One thing I wanted to add was this detail on the back of the suit. It's got like this little turning engine looking type thing. That's just done with a small servo motor. And now you can see adding some of the fake welds and some details to the body and arms too. So it's slowly starting to take shape. Now the jacket I'm wearing under this isn't true to what he wears in the film. Tony Stark wears an old welding jacket. Now I didn't want a big thick welding jacket. So instead I just found a similar coloured coat in a charity shop and ended up just cutting it slightly shorter. Yes, there is a Pringles tube on the arm for the gas cylinder. It was the perfect size, so I thought why not? Plus it meant I got to eat some snacks while making my costume. The gloves are actual uh, work gloves. Easy enough to just pick those up at a hardware store. So this is all the parts made and I just need to do the same paint job for everything else. So this is everything after I've gone over it all with some silver paint. And adding some other colours too, some greens and yellows on various parts. Again, using the reference pictures I found online. Bit of a tip, anything that needs to be painted yellow is really hard to get decent coverage over such dark foam. So I like to paint it white first and then go over the yellow. Otherwise, it can take easily five coats of yellow to cover the dark grey so everything's now got all the colours on and it all looks a bit cartoony with all these big vivid colours and you can see distinct like separation lines between the different colours but it'll all come together when I weather it all so these are the parts started to be weathered up and as you can see, it makes a huge difference. The parts no longer look like they are cartoony and flat. Instead, they've got some real depth and texture to them. They look battle-worn. They look like they could be made of metal. And just doing this adds a level of authenticity to your, your foam pieces. They, they have this, uh, this, this hefty, heavy look to them, which is what you're really going for when you're making something like an armoured costume. So all that's left to do is to seal this with some automotive lacquer and suit up. <laughs> 